In this GHL Go High Level tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a webhook and connect it with Make by Integromat so that you can create the automation that you need in Go High Level. Remember to stay to the end. Welcome to this Go High Level tutorial. If you want to get Go High Level at exclusive pricing at only $47 for all the same features you have in Go High Level, you want to visit the link down below. This is an exclusive Go High Level pricing if you sign up with me. I'm putting the link down below. So let's come back to this topic uh, video tutorial. So uh, let me just create a use case first. So this is a UK use case. I want to create an automation in uh, my Go High Level. Okay, that and then the automation will then send a webhook to my make by Integromat. So you might know the name by Integromat, in which it will actually act as an intermediary and submit the email to my Sandfox. So Sandfox is the email uh, provider that I'm using. It can be um, get response. It can be any other software that you're using. It doesn't matter. But I'm just going to show you guys the mechanism how I use the Go High Level Work Automation send a webhook to make by Integromat and connect with it. it can be get response in me in my case it is nfox you can you also use it to uh, connect with active campaigns uh miller like a mailchimp okay so here's the first step so in order to create the automations and get a webhook to post it to make by Integromat. so the first thing that i want you guys to go over to go high level and look for this go high level sidebar called automation Click on it and that's where you'll be landing on this workflow list so now click create workflow in go high level and then click start from scratch in go high level automation workflow so it will then bring you a list where you are going to build your workflow so this i'm just going to call as a workflow test okay so for this workflow test First, you need to add a trigger. So in my case, my trigger, you, you, you can have different type of trigger. For example, your trigger could be maybe your purchaser actually bought a certain cost of products in your funnels. Or in my case, it can be triggered because uh, someone actually opted into my list and submit to a form in a Go High Level Funnel page. So in my case, I'm just going um, to uh, select my trigger. In my case, it will be, let me see. It will be a form submission. So let me click the form submission. Okay, this is useful when uh, you want people, you want it to actually trigger the workflow when someone actually submitted your form. It can be your lead magnet, right? People opt into you. All right, and then after that, I want it to specifically referring to which form um, in my funnel. So the form it's if you actually sign up for my free ChatGPT course. Uh, if let's say you guys want to check it out, you can go and check it out at junlo.net slash chatgpt. So uh, when the form is submitted and I add the filter is when it is for this specific funnel, just select the funnel that is relevant, save the trigger, and you want to click the plus here, which means when this is being triggered, someone submitted the form into my ChatGPT course, it will then have an action. And the actions here, you just click on it and just pick web hook. So once you create web hook, just making sure that this post method because when this is being triggered, we want to post a specific web hook to this make by integral man. So that's the reason why we are picking the post. So you are required to fill in the URL here. So there is nothing here. Please do not worry. You can have a pause here. And I'm just, uh, just to show you guys the custom data. So just click add items in custom data. Okay, it's very simple. I want in my form, I actually um, requested two things from my uh, from my audience in my Go High Level Funnel. The first thing is that I request for their uh, first name. That's a pretty common one. So you just enter first name in this custom data in Go High Level and click this icon, this tiny icon. Can you guys see that? Click this tiny icon in GHL and then just search for email. So essentially, I'm telling the Go High Level, hey, you know what? when this is being triggered um just send this custom data first name which is the tag of my first name in go high level and also send the email okay same thing again click this batch and just search for email and you're good to go so over here you cannot click save because there is no url so right now what i want you guys to do is just go over to the make by integral map so when you go over to the make by integral map just click the 
create a new scenario in inter uh, in Make by Integromat, and you'll be being to brought to this builder in Make, right? So the first thing I want you to guys to click this plus button and search on web hook. Okay, this is where we are going to get the URL to put in here. Not to worry, I'll just walk you guys step by step. So in this web hook, I know that you guys will be seeing this, but please do not select that. That is not the right one. Select this one in red with like a three circles in make. All right, just click this and it will ask you for three types. Just click the first one, which is triggered when mail hook, oh sorry, triggers when web hooks receive data. So this is the second one, okay? So once you select that, it will actually ask you to choose a hook, but then you don't have a hook yet, right? So all you do is just to click add, and then you can just give it a name. So my name is that I want to test show tutorial, show YouTube tutorial, right? So after that, we can click on save and you'll be getting a URL here. So this is the exact URL that we want to copy and paste. So you can copy address to clipboard in make, just click this button. This address will be copy. And I want you guys right now to head over back to your Go High Level, the workflow. Remember, that's a URL that we are supposed to paste in Go High Level. Just copy from the address just now in Make and paste it over here. So once you've done that, I want you guys to save an actions. Okay. And this is just a workflow test YouTube by Jun Do. So if you guys have been loving my content so far, feel free to give me a like and so that I will show you guys in more in-depth and tutorial for Go High Level. So this is my website. Okay, after that, just click on save. Okay, just trust my process. <laughs> just trust step by step and click on publish and save. Okay, so here's the next step. I want you guys, it's not yet finished. I want you guys to go over to this web hook. You already got the web hook. And right now we are going to connect it with, it can be any of your software. I'm using Sandfox, so that's why I'm picking Sandfox, but you can absolutely connect it with your get response. If let's say it's a get response, you can just click get response. They also support active campaigns. They also support mail chim and mail like as well. So just go over to your email service provider. I'm using Sandfox. So I'm just going to, what I want to do is that I want to create this contact in my list, right? So that is the reason why I'm just going to collect, uh, uh, select Sandfox and create a contact because I want a contact being created in my list, right? So uh, if you have not connected your um, Sandfox, your MailerLite, your GetResponse or your active campaign, you can click this online help. Uh, for the exact tutorial, in this tutorial purpose, I'm just going to teach you guys on creating the same, uh, the, the, the web poke. Okay, so right now here, what to fill in, right? So this is something that uh, you, I'm going to walk you through step by step. So once you have done that, you just click OK. So not to worry, I'm going to show you guys how to get the data. So right now, I want you guys go over back to your GHL, okay? And you will see that there's this specific work test workflow in Go High Level GHL. Click that and select one of the contact. You can select one of the contact. I'm using my own contact. So I select my own contact and click run the test. So basically what, why you want to run the test is because we want Go High Level to kind of like send data to this web hook that we told it to send. And this web hook, the data will be sent to, it to here. Once you've done that, just simply pick another one of the contact, just click test workflow, select one of the contact, that's your contact. And I'm oh, sorry, set up one of the contact and click outside here and just run test. And the web hook will re start receiving the data. And now let's go back to our web hook by make. So what I want you guys to do is click run once. So we want to make sure that the web hook start collecting the data. As you guys can see, it is right now collecting the data that it needs. Okay, so it's waiting for data. So I'm just going to click one more time. So let's test a workflow, uh, just like a different one, a different email. Hit run the test. Okay, so as you guys can see, it you can rerun the test if you want. And then when it shows this, you can say it's that use for existing data. So right now, as you guys can see, when it's coming a green tick in Make by Integromat, it means that it received the data. So now, I want you guys to click over your Sandfox here. 
you will start when you press here you will start seeing the data here that's why you're you are going to start mapping a data so this is email address that's why i'm mapping to my email address and this is first name i'm just going to find the first name here okay and i did not request for a last name so i couldn't find it so that's why i don't tag anything here and next thing you want to add this specific contact to a specific list in your sandbox that's where i'm going to click the add item okay once you let me show you guys again click on the add item and select from the list of the sandbox a uh, mailing list that you are going to select so if let's say this is a list as you can click this one and click ok and then just to make sure that you save this and just turn it on and you are good to go so basically once you finish this step you have successfully uh, set up the webhook and workflow in the go high level as well you are already successfully set up the webhook in the integromat uh, made by integromat so you can then go to your go high level funnel to test run submit a email address and then through this webhook you will then receive that e uh, email is being created as a contact in your email provider be it sandfox get response uh, e uh mail like mailchimp or active campaign so i hope that this step-by-step -step go high level how to create a webhook tutorial help you guys so if let's you have any questions feel free to put in at the bottom down below and if let's say you want to sign up my go high level at an exclusive pricing and also we give you away with free software to help you to get to more uh, clients and uh, leads and uh, potential clients and potential leads as well you don't want to miss out this special offer at only 47 dollars for go high level you're get, getting exactly the same thing and you can go visit to the link down below and with that um, I hope that you guys are liking this tutorial. I spent a lot of time in order to do this research to teach you guys this. So if this video tutorial is helping you go high for the go high level, please leave me some comments down below so that YouTube will recommend this go high level tutorial to even more people who are just like you. So with that, if let's say you want to sign up for a free course of how to use ChatGPT to power up your productivity, you can check it out at junlo.net slash ChatGPT down below. And I will see you guys in the next go high level ghl tutorial take care bye